Super 7 Series is a great event, like every year it steps up with this is the most amount of teams we've ever had. This is the biggest event in Australia for sure. Uh, it's great competition out here, it's good fun. It's a fun event, it's really cool. You know, here for the Masters event, I've been here several times. You know, I'm impressed every time I come here. The Super 7 Series, I mean, it's the best tournament series you have in Australia. All the top teams come play it. And it just keeps getting better and better, the refs keep stepping up their game. And they play at 15 balls a second, which is so awesome. This is the one of the one fields that has like a full-on tournament field. You know, there's a couple more out here in, in Australia, but this is definitely the best one. I love it, man. It's awesome. You can't beat it. It's a great series to play. It's fun. It's great. You should every come down here at least once. Welcome to another episode of the Dirter Headshot. This is part three of our coverage of the 2012 Super 7 Series Masters held at Action Paintball. Parts one and two of our Masters coverage are available for free on YouTube. Click the screen now to view part one. In our eighth and final round, first game is X-Fighters versus x -Fighters. The first point was really long. After John Raba makes a bad move inside, it came down to a two-on-two. -two. Jake Spencer running low on paint, waits in the snake for a couple minutes, and tries to get a shot on Kaiser in the stand-up can. Kaiser is having loader problems again. Yes, Jake, that's a hopper. Now go get that guy. Shooting blanks, Jake scares Brennan, but that's about it. Lucky for him, Friedrich shoots him immediately after that frightening ordeal with Jake. The next point was a long snoozer as Bobby Aviles takes his sweet ass time moving up the snake. Friedrich also posts up and waits. Explicit gets the point, the next fighters lose 2 0. The next game is Sydney Swat versus Hustle. Ben Simpson gets all the way down to their end of the snake. He draws the guns his way, and when Mike Wybrew tries to steal his kills, he whacks Wybrew in the back of the skull. How dare you steal those kills, punk ass. Hustle did manage to get one point with Fifield getting to the other end of the snake, but that's all they could get. That win put us into uh, winning the actual series, so we're taking it out for the whole year, so the boys are pretty happy with that. It also put us into playing for first and second in the, in the finals, and it was actually a pretty good game because we, uh, we worked out a lot of things that we were doing wrong, and it was lucky that happened right before the finals. Swat gets their third win on the day, and they move on to the finals. Our next game is Sinem versus Team Q. Ryan Greenspan sees there's no one left on the Dorito side, and he cruises down, getting kill after kill. The last guy gets Ryan, but eh, whatever, right Ryan? Eh. Team Kiwi didn't have much luck of stopping Ryan. They were able to trade out with him in one point, and then Kiwi's Clisby says, all I gotta do is run down the Dorito tape, I'll give it a go. Like that accent I threw on there? Pretty rad, huh? On the other tape, the elusive Matt Story rocking the chin strap and the Manus do-rag from 1998 trades out in a 101. But they still get the win. They advance on to play against Explicit for third and fourth. After all eight rounds of the prelims, here are your standings for the Masters Pro Division. There are no semifinals, so it will be hostile intentions against SWAT for first and second, and Explicit and Enemy for third and fourth.
Before the finals, we ran over to the semi-pro field and captured a couple games. Next up for third and fourth in the semi-pro division is Rage City versus Clown Monkeys. In the first point, Jerry from Clown Monkeys gets a hit on his hopper. Doink. Both he and the ref do not notice. So he keeps playing. And he keeps playing. And oh, the ref sees it. Ref's, now he's out. Oh, wait a minute. Wrong player. He still doesn't see him. Not a problem. Rage City gets him again and they get the first point. The next point, Jerry's gonna make a don't, don't, don't crawl, crawl, suck up, crawl. Don't worry, Jerry, you got two dirter stickers on your mask. They won't pull you out. Lacerda takes off to the snake to try to make something happen. His gun gets clipped and it's up to number 187 to make something happen. He decides to move to the worst bunker on the field. Meanwhile, Clown Monkey Phil takes off down the Dorito side and closes out the game. Monkeys take third place in the semi-pro division. Now on to the finals in the semi-pro division is Syndicate versus Thundercats. On his way out to the corner, Ben Dawson gets his barrel shot. On the other side, David Black gets shot in the leg, but a good slide on his thigh and you can kiss that hit goodbye. He takes advantage of his extra life and gets into the snake. Moments later, he gets shot out of the snake and yells at the sideline. No worries, Black. The rest of your team is getting super sneaky. Joel Brown moves up and helps Mr. Sneaky close out the point. In the next point, Paulson gets shot in the shoulder and then gracefully crashes into the Dorito. Black is doing his Queen Elizabeth impression and then Ben points at a paintball that is headed for his face. A little goon handing, more crashing, and Syndicate ties up the game. The next point, Mayo gets a lucky bounce off his shoulder. Joel Brown is not so lucky. Heading out to the corner, Joe nearly gets horizontal. You're gonna hurt yourself running like that. Whatever. The last three points was really, it was just all about gun skills. Like, our gun skills were better than theirs. Our lanes were on the money and theirs weren't. Uh, um, I know personally in the can, I was doing a lot of gun battling with one of the little bunkers on the snake side, and yeah, he just, he just wasn't in it, so yeah, it was good. In the last point, Mayo runs down the Doritos and does a really manly dance. There's some dead man talking. Get down to coaching. And Syndicate gets the win. Heading over to the Pro Division for third and fourth, we have Synod versus Explicit. 
In the first point, Ryan Greenspan gets shot out early going to Dorito 1. Bobby Velez gets in the snake, and Matt Story barely misses him. Once Story turns away, Bobby puts him in. He moves up at the same time Marcelo gets shot out from the Dorito side, and Explicit takes the first point. The next point, Jake does a little face plant in the corner. Ryan Greenspan gets to Dorito 1, and he puts pressure on Bobby and Crispy. Bobby moves out to the corner, and Ryan advances. Bobby gets hit and calls himself out. Oh, he calls for a paint check. Sweet, free life. Not going to make much difference. Ryan is there to take him out. Scores now 1-1. Next point, Kavanaugh and Jake the Trouser Snake are battling it out in the snake. Then Ryan makes a move on the Dorito side and takes out Matt Friedrich. Then the elusive Matt Story takes out the Trouser Snake and runs through the middle of the field and hammers out two more. Just because he's 6 foot 14 doesn't mean he can't be sneaky. Whoa. Menace spelled backwards takes a 2-1 lead. In the next point, they lose Troy Friedrich on the break, and Ryan gets to his usual killing spot. Matt gets shot out from the snake side, and Ryan cleans up the corner. In the final point, Bobby Velez gets into the snake and gets moving. He gets to their side of the snake, but can't make anything happen. The rest of the Sinem crew closes in, and Sinem takes third place as the elusive Matt Story hit, hit, hits the buzzer. On to the Pro Division Finals. Sydney Swat going up against Hostile Intentions. The teams break out successfully and Hostel gets to their secondary spots. Ben Simpson gets hit going to the snake. And the rest of SWAT follows him to the dead box as SWAT gets a penalty. Hostel draws first blood. In the second point, Scott Martin and Ben Simpson hold down the snake side. Scott prevents Neil Rappensburg from getting out wide, and SWAT makes their moves. Matt Roberts finishes the last guy. In the next point, Scott Martin gets to the corner, and Ben Simpson tries to hold Maka from getting into the snake. Maka waits patiently and gets in with no problem. Ben matches him as he falls into the snake. Not too long later, surprise, bitches! But the ref sees Maka get shot early, and Ben happily takes off down the snake. Next, Ben couldn't time his move any worse as he makes a lazy move forward while Devin Studs is pounding on his lane. Hostel has already cleared the Dorito side, and they take the 2-1 lead. In the next point, Scott makes it to the corner, but is immediately shot out in the hand. Then Maka gets shot out on the hand. You guys need to learn the dump and wipe from Billy Bernaccia, seriously. The key part to the dump and wipe is the wipe, right? You gotta the dump you gotta, and wipe. You gotta actually you wipe. You gotta get that. If Ooh. you dump and streak, then you're gonna have to come yeah. back with the forearm shiver. Ben Simpson moves to the snake, but realizes, shit, what time is it? Time for a trip to the dead box. Bye bye. Stutz moves up and Matt Roberts runs right into his gun. 
Stutz moves up again and takes out the last player. Hostel's up 3-1. In the next point, Hostel proved to be too strong for SWAT that day, and they put the nail on the coffin. Uh, the boys are pretty happy though, we took out the series, so uh, yeah, we can't, can't take that away from us, and second place is always pretty good, um, and just, the boys can take away that we went we went out there today, like yes, this time yesterday afternoon, we weren't looking at making finals, we fought all day, we got there, and unfortunately we got second, but everyone's still happy with the series win. Over on the Dorito side, Matt Roberts is watching the snake, then the ref comes over and sits directly in his lane. Not paying attention to his tape, Hostel comes down and blows him away. Wybrew can't stop the onslaught, and Hostel Intentions takes the point, and they are the winners of the 2012 Super 7 Masters Pro Division. Thanks to all the teams that came out to the largest tournament ever in Australia. You got first place, Damien, not second. Silly man. This headshot was made possible by Action Paintball, the best fields and selection in Australia. Check them out at actionpaintball.com. Also by paintballshop.com. From guns to gears and accessories, paintballshop.com has everything you need for your paintball obsession. Want to see more Dirter headshots? Click the screen now to go to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.